Hey, what's going on, you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, today's going to be our next episode in our Kivi with Python tutorial series. And if you missed the first ones in the series, we are starting from uh, kind of a, a functioning login app where you type in a username, you enter a password, and you hit this confirm button, and then it outputs hello, username, your password is now whatever you typed in the password bar. So if you want to follow along line for line, I recommend you either pause the video and copy down the code you see here, um, or you go back and check out those videos because we are going to be diving right into some new stuff. So today's video in particular, we're going to be finally taking a look at kind of improving the aesthetics of your app, changing some background colors and uh, text colors, as well as messing around with like things like bold and italics. Um, and colors in Kivi aren't exactly standard if you've worked with other GUIs in Kivi or uh, in Python like Kinter or Pygame. Um, Kivi's is a little bit different. So um, let's dive right into it. Uh, kind, one thing that I'm going to talk about real quick is colors for Kivi. Um, they do come in colors are what's called RGB. A, which is red, green, blue, and then alpha. If you're familiar with programming in general, you've probably seen um, like a three coordinate value, zero to two, five, five, that's your RGB. What you maybe haven't seen before is alpha, which is opacity. Um, and then uh, these colors are actually a little different because each entry is zero to one. So like if I want red, um, I want it to be R, of one and then G and B of zero, but then I want it to just be one if I want a solid red. If I want a, a green, it's um, you know kind of the same thing, zero, one, zero, one. So a lot of times I like to actually make my uh, I like to make my colors as variables. So anytime I call them, I've already thought about the color and defined it. Um, but when I use these variables later on, you'll see we are going to be able to. Um, we would be able to just punch the RGB values in right there, or these modified RGBs. Um, <coughs> excuse me. So I'm gonna just start with um, red, green, and blue so I can call them later, but then when we're using the colors, I'll tweak that um, opacity a little bit, that alpha value, and you can kind of see what it does. Um, so let's go ahead and start with our uh, confirm button. I think that's a good place to, to mess around a little bit. And let's start by just saying background underscore color and let's make it blue and uh, I'll just run this real quick so you can see that um, straight away and you see we've got this really dark blue button um, but one thing I do want to show you guys real quick as well is if I take that same background color blue and I apply it to uh, one of our text inputs so let's say background color blue for the text input you're gonna know something kind of interesting we just called the same color but we got two different colors right there so um, wh why is that I want to talk about it real quick if you notice um, I'll get rid of that again real quick the text inputs background started from a point of being white and the confirm entry buttons background started from a point of being gray so what it did is it put our same blue that you see here it stuck it on top of the gray background and that's why it was so much darker. So I kind of think it looks good like that, but if you want to change it to where it's just the same blue, it's like your true blue, then what you change is this setting for buttons which is called background normal and you do an equals and this technically it's like taking an image and sticking it on the back of the background so it's like taking it a, a picture of a gray rectangle and making that the background of the button what we're gonna do here is say well don't take any image so now there's gonna be no background and now if we say background color blue let's go ahead and get that on this line so now if we say background color blue and we load it in it should be the exact same blue as our text entry button okay and it is um, I actually I'm gonna get rid of the background normal one because I preferred it a little bit darker but just know if you prefer looking at it um, as that vibrant blue and knowing exactly what color you're defining it that you would need to change that background normal setting so let's go ahead and make the other uh, text input um, 
background color. Uh, we'll make this one green. Might be kind of a funky looking app. You might never actually build an app. You might never actually build an app uh, that looks like this, but I'm trying to trying to show a lot in one video. So there we go. We got green and blue going on here. Um, we've got our our uh, button with an interesting background color. Let's go ahead and take a look at what you can do with labels real easily. So I'm not going to get into how to change the background color of your labels in this video because it actually reply, re, um, requires a fairly advanced like defining of a canvas um, and then setting a background like image and defining a rectangle space for it. So we're going to do that after we've covered kind of using the Kivi design language. But what you can do real easily with labels is you can, um, rather than background color, you can use just regular color and that'll change the color of the text. So here, if I say color equals red for the uh, label of username and I'll go ahead and apply the same thing to the label of password. So now if we run that, okay we get red username and password which is um, kind of cool so then confirm entry your password is now secret um, but uh, we can do a few other kind of cool and unique things with the labels so let's go ahead and look at some of those now um, there are two settings probably kind of uh, self-explanatory but you can do italic which is going to you'll see it's going to put the text in italics and then you can also do another one so we did that to username let's go ahead down to password and we'll make that one bold and so like this the setting is just bold equals true or false and then italic equals true or false and those will both by default um, be false so you can obviously see password is bold now username is um, username is italicized you can do both so we would be able to make this bold and italic uh, you know that's that's a valid look it's definitely um, you know it's, it's vibrant it jumps out at you uh, and then something else that you can do is and I know we talked about this briefly when we made the button but um, you can use font size and we can make that a little bit bigger so now it should kinda jump off the screen at you a little bit more yeah cuz we made it bigger so um, I'll go ahead and take this bold italic and font size I'll apply that to both of them so for future videos uh, we're gonna have it look a little bit more like this so um, it's definitely kind of got a funky look to it uh, but I still think it's it's more fun than just the plain like black and white we've been dealing with so going forward um, going forward we're gonna uh, take this app and so if you're watching the videos as a series um, just know I'm gonna kinda keep it in this state so hopefully you found this video useful uh, there's definitely a lot more you can do with style but I try to keep these videos pretty tight um, so if you have any questions about something in particular go ahead let me know about in the comments I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can um, and if you found this or anything else on the channel useful uh, I really appreciate a like on the video and a subscribe to the channel it helps the channel out a ton and as always, thank you so much for watching the videos and good luck with your code. Thanks. Bye.